What's your game plan today against D1 Scrub? He's going to be really hard to break, so I really have to make sure I get a lot of his first serves back in play and take my cuts at the second serve and not let him control all the points. What are you looking to do today, T1 Scrub? So, boss trying to make me make a lot of errors. Uh, I'm gonna try not to make a whole lot of errors. The name of the game tennis is just keep the ball on the court, try to build some good points, and uh, you know, get in some long points, I can find my rhythm, and uh, maybe, you know, get to the net and, and, and put some balls away. We need to go a little deeper in the points there, gave away a couple free points on the return.
I'm trying to get deeper in the points, but I'm just kind of softballing the ball and making too many errors. I just need to loosen up and swing. Uh, it's counterintuitive, but that's what I need to do. So we're back on serve. Uh, I'm in kind of a tricky spot because I'm trying to build confidence, but uh, I'm having the most success uh, playing aggressively. Uh, but I'm lacking the confidence to play aggressively, so uh, it's kind of which comes first. Uh, chicken or the egg. Uh, so the last game, I was really just trying to swing, knowing I might miss a couple extra, just trying to build, you know, that aggressive confidence. Um, yeah, boss uh, playing great. Uh, and you can see I'm sweating, so I just need to step in a little bit more, stop playing defensive, and take a couple more swings. Alright, so I just got broken. Um, that was a huge game. Um, I felt like if I could have won that game, that could have been a dagger, at least mentally, for him. So that was a huge game on his part to win. Uh, big disappointment to lose that first game. I felt like I was playing pretty well. Um, one thing, when he comes to the net, uh, I feel like I have to really go for lines uh, more than I usually do because of his reach. So I missed a couple of balls the last two points where I went for lines and I probably shouldn't have, didn't need to.
be starting to get more rhythm on his ground strokes. So there's no way I can depend on him missing anymore. So I'm going to really have to try to take the point from him.
I think the first that uh, I capitalized on the, the wind factor and the fact that um, he was spraying some balls. Um, his serve was a little bit off today compared to other times I've seen him play. Um, but uh, his game and his serve started picking up towards the second set and as we kept going on the match. Um, and then it just got super tight at the end. It, I mean, I got lucky to, to take it two sets today. I understand you changed rackets. What racket are you playing with now? <laughs> I'm playing with a, a head gravity. Um, I, I was using a Yonex. Um, I played with it for about six months um, and it felt a little bit heavy. I felt slow with it. So I ended up switching again. Um, you thought it was all in my head. <laughs> it probably was. And this is probably the placebo effect uh, with this new racket. But um, I feel like I'm playing better. I feel like I'm a little quicker with it, especially at the net. Um, so, you know, I'm happier with it, whether it's uh, true effect or a placebo effect either way it works for me <laughs> sounds good great win all right thank you what are your thoughts on the match uh yeah i have uh, a lot of thoughts mostly regrets <laughs> uh not good thoughts that's what happens when you lose uh, i got off to a kind of slow start it's a little windy uh sort of fun rhythm i was doing really well playing aggressively but i was like not quite confident enough to like you know uh with conviction play aggressively so it's kind of between a rock and a hard place but uh settled in started playing a little bit better in the second set uh arvin is, is fast maybe hit a lot of shots uh i was hitting volleys great in the first set and then you know grew confidence there but then at the end of the last set you know arvin was really hitting lighting me up with a lot of passing shots and great angles and stuff uh he played well uh, i think his nutrition game was definitely better he came out here with banana came out here with the mountain dew so uh yeah, there's definitely some takeaways from that. Um, for what it's worth, YouTube commenters, I'm not a morning person. And we, we he picked me up at 9.30 this morning, so don't hate on the Mountain Dew. It's what I need to do my job, because I'm not a professional tennis player. I really need to play those pressure points a little bit better. Uh, you know, I had two or three set points. I don't know, y'all probably know, um, I forgot. But uh, I just played super tense. Uh, I missed like that high volley, like the one that Nadal missed against you know, Djokovic. And it's just like, dude, like you gotta make that. Anything else you wanna add? Uh, yeah, just like and subscribe to Tensroll.